Okay, hello. I'm Kilfer Joy KJ, and I'm going to show you how to set up Element Logger on any uh, any web host directly through cPanel. Okay, first, obviously, you want to log in. And this could be either free or paid web hosts, but most will have a cPanel. Okay, so once you want to log in, once you log in, the first thing you want to do is go down to databases and select my sql databases now you want to create a database you know you can make one called logger okay and then you want to create a username also logger is fine and you know Use a password generator to create a path. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to have to memorize this path. But write it down. Uh, you know, copy it to um, copy it to a notepad or something. Okay. Then just click Create User. And now, what you want to do is go down where it says Add User to Database. And you want to select the username you made and the database you made and click Add. And then select All Privileges and click Make Changes. Okay, I'm going to pause it real quick and come back and explain to you what you have to do next. Okay, I'm back. So we should be on this screen. And then from here, you want to click Home. And it should bring you back to the main cPanel screen. Now, what you want to do is click PHP My Admin, and it'll redirect you to the PHP page. Then, on the left hand side, you should notice your database. So, go ahead and click that. And now, what you want to do is click Import. You want to click Choose File. Now it should pop up um, a little dialog box and you want to direct yourself to the script folder in your element logger package and select SQL SQL dot SQL SQL dot SQL and then it should pop up right there. Oops. And all you do is click go. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And now you should notice you have a little logs page. Okay, next, what you do is, this is our script folder. Go into config.php. And, you know, you can open it up in Notepad, Notepad++, any text editor, really. And you'll have a bunch of code. But we're going to scroll down to this array right here. Now, hostname, you can keep it the same. Database, let's change the database to what your database name is. Right now, I have kill for joy underscore logger. My username is the same, but it could be different for you. Kill for joy underscore logger. Now in the password, you want to copy and paste that password you were given. Right there. Okay, next, if you scroll down a bit, you'll have a username and pass. This is the same username and password that you're going to be using for um, logging into your panel. So you can choose whatever you want it to be. And that is all. Now, um, here's a quick thing. If you don't have GDI enabled on your web host, which means they can't generate the captcha, all you have to do right now, uh, all you have to do is go down here real quick and delete these two lines of code. If captcha does not equal session captcha, just delete that, and you should be able to log in without typing in the captcha. 
Okay, next what we do is go back to the cPanel and we want to go to files and click file manager. And we want to click public FTP root, click go. Now we want to click upload and we want to click choose file. Oh wait, oops, I messed up. Go back here, click file manager and click web root, sorry. So we want to click upload. Well, you can you can set it up wherever, like, um, depending on whatever folder you want to have it set up in. So I'm going to just create a new folder for this. I'm going to call it logger. And refresh it real quick. And where did that logger go? Right here. So I'm going to go into that and I'm going to click upload. I'm going to click choose file. Now it's going to pop up this page. Let's see if we can select all. Oh, we can't select all. Um, one second, let me see if I can find it. Okay, um, well, normally you would be able to extract and compress, but for some reason it's not letting me on this. So I'm just going to manually upload it. And basically all you have to do is upload each of these files. And I'm going to pause it so I don't take up time and I'll come back with the fully uploaded. Um, all the files uploaded. Okay, I'm back. I have all the files uploaded. Now you can do this through an F, uh, through FileZilla or any FTP client, but or you can do it manually like this, but you can Google that. Um, okay, so our next task is to go on to, um, one sec, uh, let's go to your panel. Okay, so just go to the direct link of your panel, and first thing you would notice is that it says fuck. Okay, this the, I'm not going to go into the reason why it says that, but what you have to do is go to the directory, and pass the directory. Here, let's load this down. Make go to account.php. Okay. And that should load it up fine. Okay. So this is your logger panel. Your username and password should be whatever you set it to. I think the default one is root and test. Um, or test and pass, and then just type in your CAPTCHA, and click OK. Now you have it all set up. Now remember, a quick thing, OK, your URL that you put on, um, on your uh, element logger should be gate.php or the direct don't uh, have it go to gate.php or have it go to the directory do not have it go to account.php now um, this should be all set up and you can always message me or element if you have any more questions thanks